All right, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. All right, Sunday afternoon. We're gonna take the Bergman out for a spin. We're gonna go to um, Richmond, Texas. They got a road there, somewhat scenic, close to the Brasses State Park. We're gonna just take a, a cruise over there. I haven't been there for, for years. I wonder what, what it is or how it is now. I used to ride my sports bike there. Um, what do you call that? Every Sunday. I got my music playing in my head right now. The uh, the Santa 20s. Let me turn it down. Thing's pretty clear. So I'm actually wearing full gear except for a jacket today. I got my uh, jeans, gloves, boots, helmet, but no jacket. Why am I not wearing a jacket? Because it's hot, it's warm. Get some fuel first from 7 Eleven. No tacos. Oh, damn, look at this Lexus got fucked up. That was fine a couple days ago. I mean, I've got enough range to get to uh, Crab River Road and back without fueling now, but uh, I'm gonna put some fresh gas in this thing. I haven't ridden it for about a month. So, all right. The weather feels nice. It's not too hot. We're still warmer than I would like. <sighs> this 2008 Bergman uh, 650. It's got a really snatchy throttle on uh, low speeds. So it's kind of hard to modulate it. I know on the newer Bergmans they fixed that issue. I'll close my visor here. Pretty windy. Let me turn close this there you Get some gas. Still trying to get to that, get used to that um, snatchy throttle of this Bergman. You know, I like the uh, the X Max. X Max is smooth. This one's snatchy. Fucking out of service, god damn it. Let's go to the other one. Well, let's turn it around. Let's go this way.
coffee will do her. Cap is off. My gloves need to come off so I can manipulate the uh, credit card controls. All right. Shit's broken. Goddamn piece of shit. <sighs> Put the gloves on there first. Alright, let's try this again. This one looks promising. Let's stop the video here. All right, I got gas. Let me make sure that we're recording. Yep. I swear this, uh, Freaking 7 Eleven is getting worse by the minute. Let's see, the best way to get there actually is not this way. I have to go back to the village and then. Uh, just keep going straight to University Drive. Just keep going straight this way. Yeah, beautiful day. Uh, I've got about maybe two and a half hours of sun left, so I figured I'd get some riding in. Got my wallet, my phone is not flying off. It might. <laughs> okay. And like I said, I got my music playing in the in my helmet, and it's a uh, it's a lot better than having your uh, your music play. You know, for example, you have the the speakers mounted on each uh, on each side of your your handlebars. That's not the way to go because you'll have too much uh, wind buffeting to uh, to mess up your music listening experience. peaceful I'm gonna play my music here in a little bit turn it louder you guys just enjoy the ride oh yeah now that's playing it's kind of dangerous when you're playing in the I mean playing music in the city because you're distracted so it might not be the best practice. I guess I'll turn it down for, for now. That is pretty dangerous. 
Oh, look at that hoverboard. <laughs> that hoverboard, that guy's wearing headphones too. That's kind of cool. Um, I was looking at those uh, those scooters. I was looking at a gas-powered scooter online. It's uh, it's one of those stand-up scooters. It's got a 50cc motor attached to it. It goes about 25, 30 miles per hour. Uh, it's a two-stroke engine. Uh, they look kind of badass, and they're they're fairly cheap. They're about uh, six hundred dollars. <laughs> fairly cheap because you know it's a scooter. You compare that to a, a regular 50cc scooter that kind of ranges around eight hundred dollars or so from a shop assembled. This one's kind of cheap. Yeah, that's six hundred dollars uh, shipped to your door. You know, I thought it'd be a, a fun toy just to have. You know, take that in the morning, go to 7-Eleven, get my coffee and my tacos. I think it'd be more fun than taking the X-Max there and back. You know, because it's such a, a quick trip. <laughs> quick trip is another name of a gas station here in Texas. But yeah, it's a, it's a quick trip, so... I'm thinking I need a I want to spice it up a little bit but we'll see we'll see I've got other expenses in mind that I need to take care of before we get we get there easy riding Kind of warm, kind of warm. Hope my fly is not open. I've had that happen before. And it is closed, I just touched it. Mm. Switch lanes. And the sun is in our face. Nice. Good thing I have my uh, sun visor down. Way too hot. I need this open. Yeah, I used to be one of those guys who wear leather jackets, all gear all the time. Leather jackets, even though it's like 95 degrees out. I used to be one of those guys. Now, uh, since I'm riding scooters and just cruisers. Not sports bikes, I don't do that anymore. Turn power mode. It's just way too hot. And I don't have that stamina like I used to anymore. Oh shit, it's a lot quicker than the regular mode. I haven't been to Crab River for a long time. Hopefully there's no construction there. Really? We caught the red light.
oh don't run over that kid on the bicycle or man not a kid yes yeah, a man all right let's speed up a little going too slow Riverstone neighborhood looks really nice. This is uh, True Land, Texas. We got really nice houses here. Really nice subdivisions. Oh man, the sun is still in our face. People picking uh picking up big cons on the on the sidewalk there. I feel like I'm flashing everyone with my uh with my butt crack right now. I think my shirt's flying up. That's fine. They can enjoy the view. Play next song. Play next song. Damn, Damn it. Sun is burning. Keep saying intercom failed. The YouTube app does that sometimes. There's a cop. Fuck. Hopefully he doesn't pull me over. 
I'm going uh, 50 on a 40. Bastard. Who sets up speed traps on a Sunday afternoon? Seriously. You gotta be a special dick to do that. <laughs> you know, if I was a pup, I'd probably do the same thing. Just do speed traps Sunday afternoons. You'll catch a lot of people speeding. Because I know I speed Sunday afternoons when I'm uh, coming home from a long weekend somewhere out of town. tour in this Bergman I'm gonna look into that just probably hit up uh, Austin or San Antonio we'll see I don't want to hit up Austin yet it might be I'm not sure there might be riots because uh, the the president president see election so we're gonna skip that for a little while Austin is a beautiful city. There's just way too many uh, transplants in Austin from California or whatever liberal state they came from. When you go to the 6th Street in uh, Austin, you know, Friday night, go uh, bar hopping. There's a lot of homeless people. I mean, they try to keep it clean and, you know, orderly, but you go one street down, just right outside of 6th Street, and you'll see just a shitload of homeless people. And these aren't the, the kind of homeless people that you need to feel sorry for. These are freaking drug junkies. So don't feel bad for those people. You know. Some of them have mental issues. Yeah, those people need help. But the uh, the junkies, the, uh, the tweakers, don't feel sorry for those people. They do that to themselves on purpose. Oh man, I think we're gonna have this sun in our face for the whole ride. Damn. Play music. There you go. Music's back on. Nice. I just put it on the, the low settings so we can have a slight music in the background. You guys can't hear it because it's directly on my ear. starting to get pleasant. Mm. I'll turn power mode off. Open up here a little bit. Yep, Sugarland is a beautiful town. Sienna Plantation is nice too, but hell, I think they went full retard on their uh, their city councilman. They changed the name of Sienna Plantation to just Sienna because they think that it offends people to have the name Plantation there. 
I think that's stupid. I mean, if they are, they're going to go full retard on being politically correct on names, they should just ban the, uh, you know, Democratic Party because they're that party of slavers, segregationists, KKK, and you know it, the, the works. But uh, they don't do that. They don't want to do that. Most of Highway 59 is a straight shot. We're gonna exit 762 and we're there. So, this Bergman is uh, the 08 models. Uh, well, at least my uh, Bergman. It's when you get off the throttle, it gets really snatchy. And here comes the sun. <laughs> oh, I can't see shit. gonna get on the highway we turn power mode on just in case it's always nice to have you know power readily available just in case some asshole cuts us off and we have to do an emergency maneuver doesn't happen all the time but you know you never know it's nice to have extra power <laughs> wind feels good I'm sure you guys can hear all that wind <laughs> it's nice Over here it kind of gets busy, people just start cutting each other off, just need to be careful here. It's not bad right now because it's not rush hour, it's the weekends.
I really feel like my butt crack is showing. <sighs> Sorry. Let me uh, crack open my visor here. Finally, some fresh air. Toasting under the sun. Nothing like it. It's already November here in Texas and it's still hot. And the car behind me is really close to me. Uh, I hate it when they do that. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I hate that. If I remember correctly, these lanes just merge into one. I don't remember which lane it merges into. I think it merges into the middle. Rosenberg, Texas. Oh my god, dude. You're gonna get me killed. Oh, there's still construction here. I hate that. I thought they finished this. It's been two years, bro. Finish it. Well, that's not bad. It's mostly done. I don't know why they have the, uh, the barrels here. The markers. I hope we're still recording. I can't check right now. Remember, it's just a straight shot to the, the slightly scenic area here in Rosenberg. You know. Well, uh, we'll see. Let's slow it down here in the intersection. Uh, there's a railroad here. I know, it might be bumpy. Oh, not bad. So these, this used to be just one lane, and uh, they just expanded it. We turn off power mode. All right, we don't need that much air. We'll close that off. Speeding. It's only 45 here. I'm going like 60 a while ago. Just 
keep it at 51, 50. I forgot the name of this high school over here, but look how big that is. That's nice. Oh, that's middle school and high school. There's a huge landfill here somewhere. All right. Ooh, snatchy throttle. All right, here we are. It starts over here. There's different routes. You can take the power plant route. It's got more, uh, it's got tighter curves. You know, and I think nothing spectacular. It's just very, very convenient for people who live in Sugar Land, Rosenberg, Richmond. At least they have somewhere where they can kind of, you know, let loose with their uh, sports bikes. Cruisers, I wouldn't even go here. It's just, you can go better places. Alright, let's speed up a little bit. There's a, there's a car behind me. I'm trying to enjoy the scenery and relax and then he's just gotta go home <laughs> I don't blame him Stop there then. What the hell? What the fuck are they watching? Alright, on the way back I gotta stop. So it turns like those, it's nothing spectacular. You know. Just regular turns. Uh, further ahead, it's gonna get a little bit tighter But uh, those turns it can be fun when you're going 100 plus miles per hour on your sports bike And over here you just go 200 plus uh, Or however fast your bike can go it's it's really fun Sunday mornings. There's no cops. There's no traffic just you know just back road fun Not so much fun when you're in a scooter or a, a cruiser. This is mo mostly uh, for sports bikes. speed limit here anymore. I don't see any more signs. It's mostly uh, just farmland now. All right, 45 miles per hour in the turn. Wow, 
while since I've taken that turn. Kind of making me nervous there for a little bit. What a shame. Five miles per hour indicated. I think it's only 55, but there's no one here. Okay, so this is one of the uh, one of the better turns right now on Crab River. Uh, the problem is you have two deep ditches on each side, so I recommend going just 40 miles per hour, which that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna go crazy here. It's, uh, it's been years since I've done this road. It should be pretty mild though. I don't remember it being crazy. Yeah, very mild. Man, can you believe I used to take these roads 120 miles per hour? I had more balls than brains back then. More skill too. Now it's just... Now I'm just fat. <laughs> it's still kind of fun though. Kind of. Not as good as going to the beach. You know, just cruising around the beach. That's really fun. I don't have time for that today, though. So, I gotta go to Academy. Yesterday, I bought some boots, some new work boots. I'm wearing them now. Um, I think they're a size big, size too big than, uh, than what I'm supposed to be at. So I'm going to go re return it. So if you make a left over here, this is the uh, the power plant road. You know. Fairly, uh, fairly fun road. And uh, we're pretty close to Brazos State Park. Or Brazos Bend State Park, I don't remember. Oh, never mind. Brazos, this is Brazos Bend State Park. This is not the uh, uh, power plant road. And up ahead is the, uh, the landfill. This is the landfill that the Houston metro area uses for the most part. You can see it. It's like a little mountain up there. And it's all landfill. It's about to, it's about to uh, really stink here in a moment. The reason why I know that is because I used to, um, in between jobs, I applied to a lot of jobs. Um, when I got laid off, I applied to two jobs. Uh, well, actually, more than two jobs. They're all auditing jobs. This was one of them. I only lasted for about two weeks. Then I quit because they have an insane schedule. You know, you wake up at 1 a.m. And then you don't get back until 5 p.m. in the afternoon. It's ridiculous. So I told them, fuck that. And then, you, you you know, I mean, I'm just sitting on my ass the whole day in a, in a truck, you know, auditing people. But, hell, that's hard, man. And sometimes they, they say, you got to... You gotta come in on the weekend. Some t I told them, man, screw that. And the pay was pretty bad. It was only fifty-two thousand dollars. No bonus. Uh, healthcare. I didn't use it, so I, I don't know. So I told them to just screw it. The other job was better, but I I didn't last there because uh, I physically couldn't handle it. I uh, I collapsed. Almost died. Too much work. I think I was putting in 70 hours a week and the body just stopped working literally. Just 
passed out in the middle of the store. <laughs> oh. And then, you know, you get greeted by a $10,000 hospital bill. That wasn't fun. All right. Where are my curves? <laughs> Was that it? Jeez. Or did I miss a turn? I'm pretty sure this is the right way because I remember the Browser's Bend State Park. Unless I pass it. I think I may have passed it. Shit. Oh, I can smell the landfill. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. It stinks so bad. Oh, it's owned by WCA. Man, it must suck for the people who lives here, man. I think that's a fairly new landfill. And now the whole area stinks. Like, literally stinks. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, road work ahead. Okay. I feel like this freaking sun is following us. I don't remember is it guy or fair child so i'm pretty sure it's guy we're gonna make a left on guy here matter we got plenty of gas we got a GPS I don't see any construction <laughs> there's a toilet on the freaking balcony that's hilarious Man. yep we're out here in the country you see shit like that yep trailer park balcony toilet all right what does it say Brumbelo Zamanek I don't remember any of these places <laughs> Where are we going? Oh. I think I missed a turn somewhere. <sighs> My memory is not that good anymore, but I just I don't remember that, you know, we have to make a left somewhere or right. I know the left, that's the power plant road. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we were supposed to make a left somewhere. I need to make a U-turn here and just turn around. Or else we're just going to end up in... Uh, Somewhere in uh, Victoria or Port Lavaca. Let's see if I can uh, turn this around. All right, the trick is not to go into a ditch. See this thing right here with the new windshield kind of smashes your hands there I, I don't like that but if you go on the other side you still have room see no room don't know what's going on there can you imagine doing that turn on the uh, fury forget that Let's go find our our topic for this video, Crab River Road. 
um, there's a turn that I was supposed to make on the right. I'm gonna edit this video so you don't have to see that mistake. Or I'm just gonna leave it there, I don't know. We'll see. The sun is not in our face. Hopefully the GoPro is still recording. 